Well, when you have to do the jetting, look, I'm going bigger so I get to ream them out. And you grab your jet indexer, and then you realize you're going so big that it's bigger than what's in that table. You grab the big boy. Yeah. Let's do this. I, uh, I worked with a famous car builder, and he had two rules. No anodizing, no zip ties. I'm sorry, but I love zip ties. There you go. It's effective. It's done. All right, back to the pool. Up on it. Yeah. Let me show you what I'm doing here. So I'm purposely leaving the lock washer out of this for now because I'm tuning. And you can see there's the lock washer underneath this guy. And the outside one, so that all I gotta do is crack it loose. And once I crack it loose, I can just reach under my fingers and undo it. Because you can see it doesn't come straight up. It's kind of really annoying. Once I do that, then I can swing it out of the way. So I can gain access to the main jet, basically. And the idle jet. Idle jets are perfect right now, but the mains still chasing it. It is kind of funny because it shows you how long it's been since I've done IDAs. The first the moment I cracked the one loose and my thought was, oh, swing this guy way all the way. And it, it's hitting something. So I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. I can't figure out what the heck I'm hitting. And then actually I realized, I was like, oh, we're hitting. Okay, never mind. The booster. Alright, so I got that one done. Uh, see, here we go. Look, I just cracked this guy loose. Kind of need something that has a little, I don't know, shredder, shredder, shredded, no, gnarled, whatever edge, so I can grab it out of my finger. But this is, I mean, like right now, go ahead, pull out the mains, 
Go ahead, get your screwdriver in there. Good luck with that one. I've already tried. Grab a couple screwdrivers. But I do that, and bam, I can't get in there. So. Alright, I don't want to get you guys sick. Next time you come to the shop, the moment you walk through the door, look to your left and you'll see this window. Yes, everybody walks in and never realizes there's a dyno room right next to the front door. So many people go, I didn't know you had dyno, where's it at? I've never seen it. There's a window right there. For those of you who don't know, the front door is literally right there. When you come in, you're coming through, and then you immediately start going to the right. If you look to the left, there's the window in the dining room. saw that just now. Piece of crap screwdriver here. That just fell. Oh yeah, that just breaks. It's like nothing. It just breaks in my hand like it's nothing. It almost fell down into the car. Ain't gonna use that screwdriver no more. that from some freight company. make a bolt.
gonna be it. She just needs a hair more fuel, just a hair. <sighs> Alright. Hope this is the last one. I think I said that last one. So for those of you who are wondering, uh, that was a, a 13.2 AFR. Now the air in this room is not as good, but so I know it's going to get better if you go outside. So a 13.2, it's usually, I've noticed it's about four points, almost a half a point difference between this room and outside. So because of that, I'm shooting for like a 12.5. Would be nice. Anywhere around there. 12.5 will give me a nice Stare at my mug, so we gotta stop this. So I made more clear just so you can see it. I didn't mean to stop it. I didn't know I was recording. Uh, let's see here. Oh, can I block light here? Let's, there you go. Get my big old belly in here. So there you go. You can see the little marks. And basically what that is, is where the jet, each time I've had to ream it going down, this last one you see there is the last one I'm doing right now. 
There you go. So that one's already done. Let's put another one on here and you'll see it's just falling short. There you go. This guy, same thing, just falling short of it. Because that's where the last time I did it. And that's a half right there, so that gives you an idea. It makes that big of a difference. Part of this also is kind of a big error. Now some of you are going, well, what size are you putting in there? So I know for my combo. So I purposely don't say what I'm doing, the number, because it'll just confuse you. This is not your combo. Your combo is different. Because of that, I find it's better to not talk about the sizes. Otherwise, I get all these comments, people going on there. No, oh, you, you should be running this, and you know, my combo, it ran this, and oh, happy for you. Hope it runs perfect for you. All right, let's put these in. Oh, somebody's at the door. I'm gonna have to wait. Okay, back at it. You know, what kind of sucks is my phone is sitting here playing whatever, I heart, and it was just now jamming with convention solo. I didn't want to push the button to record. I'm just sitting here jamming out, and then I realized I gotta get back to work. So I can't play music and record video at the same time, so it sucks. Alright. Maybe it's good that you didn't see me because you wouldn't see me sitting here doing an air guitar. Looking like a dork. figured it out. O2 sensor, right there. You now the main jets are big enough. I don't think debris is going to plug it. So, right now, I'm just taking it when you see the dyno, I'm taking it to 5,000. It's five holding on to something. Because sometimes on videos, sometimes it sounds like they're going super high, and other times it sounds like they're not even going that high. It's kind of like how you know it says video adds 45, 50 pounds. probably did this live instead of doing a video. Now, because then I get distracted by reading your guys' comments. I start asking me tech questions, I start answering it, and I get sidetracked and they don't do the work.
pull I did I was holding it at like 3,200 RPMs with about a 30 pound load and then hitting it under power. So if you're just cruising along, you decide to stop it. Uh, it was sitting pretty rich. It's got the Merlin emulsion tubes in here. The emulsions are in here. It gives it a pretty rich setting there when you're just cruising. And, uh, it's going to need a different emulsion for sure. But um, up top, it's fine. Uh, I, it, I seem to be in that 12.6, 12.7, which is just a hair lean. I know that doesn't sound lean, but it's lean for, I don't think the air is that good in this room type of thing. Uh, that's why I just, uh, after you run it for a little bit, you can just tell that it's just a scale. But, but uh, it seems to be fine. Uh, right there, I gotta do the math and see what it made for power, but all right, that thing's done. Okay, this is gonna be 5,500. If my dynoing sounds different, because I load, I go past the number, and then I load back into it, and then hold it, and then let off. So you'll hear it go, that should be the way it goes. Grab a calculator, do a math, figuring it out. So, yeah, let me do my math. 